It's a 651 Carantira. I'm a Persian citizen of the Sasanian Empire, which just collapsed under the tremendous victories of the Muslim army. I'm also a member of a unique and ancient religion, Zoroastrianism, founded by the prophet Zarathustra and which was, so far, the official belief of my empire. My religion recognizes only one creator god, Aura Mazda, and considers our Earth as a battlefield of dualistic and opposite forces, such as good and evil, truth and lie, and light and darkness. For the Zoroastrian, the Muslim conquest is a defeat of huge proportions in the wake of this social, religious and political tragedy they begin to compose apocalyptic texts. In ancient Greek, apocalypsis, apocalypse, means revelation, and it is not necessarily a negative thing, as popular culture understands. This text carry the revelation of God, and there is a good news, though the coming of the new faith has brought about the disintegration of the fundamental values of society and the loss of the religious identity, this is just part of a precise and positive design of salvation and continuity. Aura Mazda will send a savior who will reestablish the Zoroastrian religion and will foretell a new ideal world. My research is to connect these apocalyptic accounts, often obscure and inscrutable, to history. I try to uncover the historical identity of characters and to locate uh, events that appear in the text temporally and geographically. I try also to determine why, when, and where these texts were composed and reworked along the history of the Zoroastrian community. Among other things, my findings have confirmed the existence up to around three centuries after the Muslim conquest of Iran of Zoroastrian or pro-Zoroastrian Iranian princes and governors who tried to rebel against the authority of the Muslim rulers. Each time the Zoroastrian saw one of them as that long-awaited savior and kept their hopes alive in their accounts. In our current day dreadful period of the pandemic, we can learn that even the greatest, the most devastating calamity is ultimately just one event among many on the road to the promised end. Perhaps, as for Zoroastrian readers seeking consolation and hope in their text, apocalyptic literature can give us a sense of order and relief as we face our own life challenges. <laughs>